the contract were at an impasse. And uh, there have been a couple of developments that have occurred. Uh, number one, there's the possibility of a third party mediation. And also, there's a recent election of the president of the Police Protective League. And, and that's, those are fantastic developments. You know, and, but first and foremost, Jack, I want to make sure everybody understands. I believe that LA police officers deserve a raise. I believe that they are not as well paid as they should be. Now, the, the devil's in the details, and, and getting the city to have an ability to fund that need, that's what a contract negotiations is all about. But nobody should ever think that I don't think that the people who wear this uniform aren't underpaid, because I know that you are. So, so that's first and foremost. But, uh, you know, I've had discussions with Craig, and I'm very heartened by, uh, by that leadership, and I think that's going to help. And I know that the, the city is desirous of moving forward, and, and so is the, the police union. So that, those are good things. So recently, sir, you, you had a press conference with uh, Mayor Eric Garcetti. And during that press conference where you, uh, you spoke of the uh, statistics from 2014, and part one crime is down, but you had spoke of some initiatives that you were proposing to uh, initiate into the department to lower violent crime. Could you elaborate on that? The reality is, is crime has continued to go down, but we've had an uptick in violent crime, particularly ag assaults. And, and a lot of that is due to an increase in domestic violence. And as any cop knows, domestic violence is greatly underreported. So if victims come forward, which we want them to do, then you're going to see an increase. But, but also, there is a real increase in domestic violence. So the mayor has agreed to fund DART teams in every division. Mm -hmm. And so our goal is to get DART teams out in every division to not only help uh, solve the problem, but to help officers respond to some very, very difficult incidents. You know, there's, there are nothing more difficult than domestic violence calls because, you know, every, everybody that goes to them knows that you are just seeing the tip of the iceberg of this problem, you know. And so, uh, you know, in, as a police officer, it's very difficult to have the time or the resources to get, address that root cause of a, of a domestic dispute. But the DART teams can and the DART teams have the time, they have the resources, and, and they can make a difference and maybe stop us from going back to that house again. And better yet, stop the kids in that household from seeing domestic violence. And, you know, anybody that's interviewed a gangster or, or, a, or a serial criminal, you know, if you, fall, if you go back far enough in their history, you're going to see exposure to violence, probably domestic violence. There was an overall theme in that press conference, sir, and, and you were asking the employees of our department to build community trust. What do you mean by that? Every time you have an interaction, you build trust or not, depending on how you interact with people. You know, a simple explanation of why we do what we do uh, it is so important to having a people understand the, the, uh, the encounter from your position. And so what I ask everybody to do is think of ways to build trust with the community. Think of ways to explain your actions. Think of ways to be a legitimate operator within the community that you serve. You know, these are very tough jobs, and they're made even tougher if we don't have the support of the people of Los Angeles. So we have to find ways to do that. And I will work as hard as I can as chief of police to do it, but the reality is it's built every day, every time you interact with the public, the way you treat them. And not everybody deserves to be treated right, but what I tell you is this. You deserve your, your training, your experience, your professionalism is what causes you to treat them right, not whether or not they deserve it, quote unquote. So, it's so important. You know, do the right thing by people and they'll do the right thing by us. Let's talk about technology. You know, it's been in the media, you've covered it several times. We're doing the on body camera programs. Uh, how's the implementation of that program going? Well, this is another trust issue, and, and, you know, I think people have to recognize, all of our employees have to recognize that this is the future of law enforcement. You know, there, it's impossible, just about impossible, to have any interaction on the street when you're in uniform that doesn't get recorded in some way. Either it's by a fixed camera uh, from a, a business or it's by somebody's cell phone. So why wouldn't we want to control the, fi the, the taping of these encounters? And that's what this does. It gives us an ability to show things from our perspective. And I think it's important, extremely important, to show things from the officer's perspective. It builds trust, but it also puts legitimacy in what we do. 
And I trust our employees. I believe in our employees. And I know that this is going to show the LAPD and each and every one of you in an extremely good light. This is going to be the thing that makes people, that makes all of us understand how difficult policing is, but how good you are at it. It's not going to be the end all to our transparency issue, though, as a department, though, is it? No, it's not a final word, and nothing is. You know, everything is a step forward, and that's what this is, is a step forward. You know, does it show the absolute, uh, the totality of inter every interaction? Absolutely not. It's one point of view, oftentimes blocked by a steering wheel or maybe even your hands. Uh, but it is a point of view, and the more points of view you can have, the little more legitimacy you can, uh, that, that you can display. Something else we've done that's been long overdue, we've um, rebuilt our website. <laughs> Which is really fantastic. It's a much more user-friendly website. You can go to it and get information. You know, something that the public can look at and, and, and try to find things in a, in a much more effective way. Really proud of the, of the, of the men and women in, in, uh, in our media groups that have done this. You know, it was a lot of work, and I, I think it's been well worth it. Here's something I really think is cool. With a smartphone, we can download an LAPD app. <laughs> yes, we can, and that's just the first of many to come. You know, we are, we are going to find ways to equip officers with smartphones to make sure that, that at their fingers in the field, they're able to get the information that they need. Well, here's something that comes around faster than the holidays, sir. Grab your running shoes. We're going to Baker to Vegas. Oh, absolutely we are, Jack, and I, and I look forward to supporting every one of the LAPD teams. But everybody knows that, uh, you know, that my heart is, is, is with our uh, open team and our women's team. You know, they are, they are once again going to be victorious in this. They are training hard. They're gonna, they are going to be the uh, standard bearers for Los Angeles Police Department. But you know what? Every one of the teams is, is, is fantastic. And I, I just couldn't be more enthusiastic over not only our participation, but the way that, that we display the LAPD when we go out there. So everybody have a great time. You know, enjoy yourself, and, uh, and uh, my best wishes to each and every team. As we begin a new year, it's important to remember, you are the best police officers in the nation. Your chief is proud of you. I know you need to be compensated. I know you need to be paid better. And we're working on that with the city, with your union. Very proud of what you're doing. Please remember, build trust with the community, and be effective at your job. We do these two things, we will continue to be the greatest police department in the nation. Thank you all. I hope we have a great 2015.